Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Portal 2. We've fallen quite a long way down to where Aperture Laboratory started in Aperture Science. Uh, well, I can't remember what it's actually called. Innovators. So, uh, yeah. The elevators are very different from what we used to. It's kind of similar to the ones we, we had back when we were still in Portal 1, but this is a long lot. This this is designed from a lot earlier than that, so at least in the story of the game, but you know, it's cool. Now we're gonna have to have a look around and see what we can do here. Ah! All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Hmm. Well, it looks like this is the first testing sphere in here. It looks like there are nine per hole in the ground, so... I guess we're going to have to keep going, but... Now we've turned on the Alpha Pumping Station, we are introduced to a new testing element. Repulsion Gel. Which if we jump on top of, or land on... Hang on. If we jump on top of it, it will bounce off of it, meaning we can get around like that. Ah, uh, but I believe if we hold Crouch, we don't bounce off of it when we land on it. And then if we jump, we get the full strength of a jump. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, but let's see what we can do with all this. Also, this is a button because just this is oh, it's so cool. It's a completely different design, but these are puzzles that do work with a portal gun. Uh, I need a cube or something. Uh, oh, there's a button over there, like a a push push button, so I can do that. Now that will drop a cube. I love how this is just its own theme, basically. So cool. Anyway, let's take this up here and place that on that. And if you jump from a height... Just me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling oh. me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. So if you jump from this height onto the gel, it will bounce you back up to the same height. But if you keep bouncing on it, you'll go slowly, you'll slowly get further down. Uh, but anyway, next test chamber this way. Well, I can't do that, so I'm going to do this instead because I'm very luckily using a portal gun. Now, which way from here? I think it's this way. Also, just the... Oh, no, not this way. The gigantic testing spheres is just... A cool idea. It's very uh, interesting the way it's put together, though. Nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. What? Um. Okay. Well, anyway, let's just go through that, please. Cool. Grab a cube. Now, we can go over that way. If I place the right portals. Like that. Okay, and what did that do? Oh, that opens up that up there, so we can go through that now. And bounce right off of that, up here. Now, I need that cube over there. And this is something that's really cool about this repulsion gel, is if you jump into it, on a wall, it will still bounce you, meaning that we can just have it bounce us across here as long as we're moving slightly forward at the same time as going into the wall. It's very cool. But anyway, here we are. Let's not destroy the cube. Thank you. And that opens up that up there. So now, let's head back down this way and use this and bounce our way to victory. Just like that. Oh, in case you got covered in that 
repulsion gel. Here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I didn't get covered in it. It's just on the ground. You can't get it on you, which is a good thing, so. But, you know, the warning... The warning's good. It's just a little bit late to say that afterwards. Oh my goodness. Okay, where are we? All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Oh. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. Okay, good to know. Oh. The good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. Well, that's that's what really matters. Is a smiley face on a calculator. Uh, but anyway, let's go all the way up here now. It's incredible how fast you can just get around with a portal gun. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Beam counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Hmm. <laughs> well, now we can press this button and we can have a a blob of um repulsion gel come out. Which will cover the ground. Also, you can get covered in it. Uh, but it doesn't actually hurt you, so... Which is good. It just washes right off. Uh, but now we can move the repulsion gel around to wherever we really need it. To solve puzzles. Which means we can also do stuff like this, where we just... Move the portal out of the way after it's gone through from the ground to... Make a viable way to get around. So let's do that and that. Now we need it there as well, I believe. So let's do that. Cool. Very good. And I think now that's all we need, so let's just jump down through the orange portal and bounce off of that. Keep our men momentum going. There we go. That doesn't sound pleasant. Why are you warning me about this thing? <laughs> Why are you trying to kill me? I don't know. It's fine. I, well, I didn't have any coffee earlier, so I was... It wasn't me who got the worst day possible at aperture testing. Although I did fall down here and I'm kind of stuck and alone. It's fine. I also think the background of the title screen probably changed again. Not too long ago. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Oh. Why, why have you... Um, it's fine. Anyway, we have a few things that we need to do here, so let's get this here for a start so we can get up there. Uh, but we have this water here that washes off any of the goop, which would be good if we got covered in goop and we needed to get it off, but we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but it means that we ha can't have the goop there when we need to jump, which can be annoying, so we need to turn that off before we can actually do that. And that's only a timed- that's a timed button, so that'll actually turn off after a few seconds. I don't know if we've seen any timed buttons before. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. Alright, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. <laughs> Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Yep. Definitely. Um, anyway, let's do that portal there and this portal here. Bounce off of that wall there over this way. Okay. 
Where are we going now? This way. But yeah, if you see yourself on the testing track from the future, don't make eye contact because that will change everything. Where am I going right now? I think I need to actually reuse goop from one of the previous areas, like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think now it should just be fine to just jump through like this, hopefully. Yep, cool. <laughs> That's not scary at all. Now, where to from here? Well, there's this. Where am I going? Am I going up there? Hang on, let me check through the portal. Looks like I can. Yes, gonna group everything. Uh, eh, anyway, <clears throat> we can put group underneath that um, cube there to make it go absolutely insane. But this shows that we can actually put group onto testing objects, basically. So now we need to catch this cube, possibly, like that. And now this is where the, the water comes in for washing it off. So that means we won't have to worry about it going all over the place. And I don't think you can uh, paint or group the switch, so that is a good thing. Let's go up here. Since this elevator is activated now. Oh, hang on. I need to do that. A little bit further that way. Okay, cool. And now we are able to continue. Oh, good. Wow. Well, I guess he's the boss. He can do whatever he wants. Mostly. Now. I think we're up to test chamber three, so we're getting a decent way in. But there is a lot more to go. Oh, this is not a test chamber. this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Well, I can't go any further that way, so we actually have to go back this way. Over to this area over here. Which is Pump Station Beta. Let's head on in here. And, I guess, if I can figure out where I'm going, up there. Okay. Now what? Need to get up there somehow. Can I? No, I can't do that. I think I'm not supposed to be up here yet. Possibly. Oh, hang on. I know where I'm supposed to be, but I'm not supposed to be here. So that's fine. Blue portal up there. I think that's what it wanted me to do. I'm not entirely sure about that, but okay. Uh, anyway, now we're up here. We can activate both of these gel pressure controls to get both of those going through further up, I guess. But that means we also have orange now. Well, let's go this way. Got to keep testing. Also, I think this is possibly another background you can have on the title screen. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. 
You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. Um. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. right. Now, now you might, you might be, be asking yourself, Cave, hey, just, just how difficult are these tests? tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Okay, I'll do that. But what's test related and what's not? Also, there's a control room. I kind of want to go in there. Also, the logo for Aperture has changed once again. Looking actually pretty cool. So, let's go in here. Oh, hey. I can do that. <laughs> or I could just let you, uh, let you suffer. Oh, mmm. Okay, fine. Just scare it off. Oh, uh, oh. That's true. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. Sure, you you're reasonable reasonable enough. I didn't mean to do that anyway. Uh, only a few seconds. Oh, out again. Uh, I didn't mean to activate or put Gladys on the portal gun just yet, uh, but I pressed E on underneath the table and it counted. Also presses the button underneath to activate the elevator here, so now we can do this to fling ourselves at the exit. Luckily we can take the potato battery through the the grills. Also Gladys attached to it, but you know. I don't know what counts as stuff that needs to be fizzled. But anyway. Reunion. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Carol, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Oh, out again. Well, that was interesting. For sure. Ah, uh, but now that we're here, we get to do some testing with some different stuff, because now we have orange gel. So I think this is, the other one was repulsion gel, well, this one's propulsion gel, if I'm not mistaken, which means that we can run super fast on it, which means we can jump over here. Uh, but anyway, I need blue portal, I think, here. I might have made a mistake with that. Hang on, let me change my mind. Okay, orange portal there. Okay, so now we can do that. And go through here at full speed. And do all of this. We can, of course, also get the cube painted if we are not careful. So, let's not do that. I uh, also need to go back again. Through here. And now we can put this onto that bit there. And now we are ready to launch. Up here. Cool. Okay, also need to do a bit of this now. 
So let's do that. I don't think I need to take the cube with me, so let's just run straight through here. Pressing that switch button, and now we can keep going. <laughs> Remember, do not ble leave your belongings here. Loiter for more than 20 minutes, touch the glass. Wear a shirt and shoes at all do, do wear a sh sh shirt and shoes at all times. Move quickly through the test track. Do not forget to touch the glass. Also, it's interesting that it tells you to not be here for more than 20 minutes. Uh, but anyway, let's go through here. Yes, we will. But also, while we're here, and things are getting interesting with the story, if we go through here, well, there's this. Remember, if you see a, an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. Um, I'm fine, probably. But anyway, if we go into here... Those people in the portrait, they look so familiar. Hmm. Cave Johnson and Caroline. It's interesting. Very interesting, especially since Gladys seems to recognize them. Okay. More testing. Um. Well, let's put that there then. And get that orange group all over the place. And then. Let's change the portals around. To put the blue gel at the end of that. And now we've created ourselves a little bit of an interesting contraption, I suppose. Uh, I also don't want that there at the moment, so let's move that out of the way. Because now if we run along this and get to the end of it, we can fling ourselves, basically. It's like a little accelerator. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to call it. It's fine. But it's a good thing because we can get around the place and launch ourselves off of it, so. Okay, it's like a makeshift ramp thing. But anyway, let's fling ourselves like that, and there we go. Sorry. And hey, there's the new Aperture logo. Looks pretty cool. Okay. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, and then put you back together. Good as new. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's all set up there. I think I need to also put something there, but not that one. I need that one. Okay, good. And that one there as well. Uh, but I also believe that I also need something else. Let's go through here. Is this nothing? Is this nothing? Maybe it is something. Let me go over here. That's there. It's not exactly what I need. I need up there. Okay, cool. Let's put some blue gel right there. I guess. But I think I need a cube. I haven't seen a cube. So far. There should be one around here somewhere. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Oh, I should probably just do what I need to. Because I'll be smart. So let's go through here. Get ready. Okay, and let's launch ourselves through here. Bounce off of that. And here we are. Okay, so let's take this cube down here. Put that on the button, so that spins that around. And now let's go uh, over here. Connect that to over there. Okay. Now we get ready for a run. Through this portal and bounce off of this. Bounce off of that. And there we go. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us 
disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. How do they have so much experience with putting people back together? Aperture has an interesting history with its test subjects. Especially now. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, care on what these people buy. Tattered hats, beard dirt. Thank you for not loitering more, uh, longer than 20 minutes. That's good. Both gels are going up further. Ah, uh, but now we need to keep looking around, because I believe we can head further out of here, if I place my portals where they need to go. Did I say something? Notice. Please excuse the inconvenience. This elevator is out of service until blank. Okay. Well, we're up here now. Not going that way, we need to go this way. Uh, but now, we can actually go to Pump Station Gamma. Up there. So let's do that. Through here. Carolyn, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or... Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. So if you couldn't tell, it's fairly obvious at this point. But, it seems like Gladys seems to understand something about Miss uh, Cave Johnson and Carolyn, because they seem to have the same answer when he says stuff to, to them. Uh, but anyway, let's turn on these gel pressures for all of these, and turn on a new one. The Gamma. Also we have that there now, so I'm going to avoid those. Ah, uh, but all this is going all over the place. And the interesting thing about the white or grey... ...goo... ...or gel... ...is that it creates portable surfaces. So that's interesting. Ah, uh, but anyway now, let's go up here. All oh, that tilted. Tilted again. Bounce off of this. Change your keep out. Okay, and now we need to get through this. It's very convenient that this gel is here. Please go through. Okay, very nice. But all this gel is being pumped around now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, good plan. Caution, watch your step. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. Now, the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy $7 worth of moon rocks, much less $70 million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Hmm. That's a shame for him. Also, that is a button with a cube on it. Like a proper one. The proper aperture one. Aperture laboratories. 
We're making it, we're getting closer. But it's a shame about Cave Johnson and the moon rocks that he ground down into the white gel. Or grey. Depending on what you want to say about it. Please do not, do not test if you are allergic to lunar uh, sediment and or... Slarch? Slarch? Slatch? I don't know. Uh, you have fulfilled your monthly test self-election quota. What does that even mean? You're confident enough in your work performance to volunteer from... for the... from test... Uh, it's fine. Anyway. Let's go up further now. But I don't know what we can really do with the... Well, I guess we could do something with the portal gel. But anyway, I think that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.